Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. It's been a couple days. It's been longer than usual, but yeah, we're just trying to settle in. We're settling in to the new house. Not our new house, but Sydney and Russell's house. And we're just, you know, feeling things out, trying to create some kind of normalcy yeah. and routine. So we've been busy doing that. Mm -hmm. And there's not really a whole lot to film right now. Yeah. So we've been kind of quiet. There's not been really much going on. We've been just waiting for our house updates and which we do have house updates you want to mm -hmm. tell them the house updates well we're starting to get drywall now so that's really exciting but we still don't have a closing date but um we're thinking maybe around like mid-july early august like we've been saying for a yeah. while now is probably when we'll end up in florida but we just don't have anything solid yet because we just don't know if there will be any type of delays with right. any number of things so that's where we're at on that uh, all the animals are doing okay. Yeah. Uh, Mia and Callie are pretty, like, bored. and they On were high alert bit, all yeah, the time. Yeah, they were a little stressed the first couple days, but they're doing better now. Sunny's doing good. Mm -hmm. The birds are doing good. So, yeah, yeah. the birds have other birds to talk to now. <laughs> Let's just, I, I think I just want to talk about our thoughts, like, right now. Like, on this whole experience and journey that we're on right now. Okay. So, um... I, I found like a couple nights. I don't think so anymore. There's some times where I'm like, getting, like I'm really anxious. Where I'm okay. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. But this is home for now. So yeah, yeah I've been. There's things I miss about the old house. Oh yeah. Like here, there's trees. Like where the sunset would be at our house. I kind of miss what, looking at sunset. And it was like right out our door. And it was mm -hmm. so pretty when there was good sunsets. I miss that. I miss, because it's kind of crowded here because there's a lot of people living here. I kind of miss the open space, but we got to roll with what we got. That's what we got. And I'm so thankful and grateful that Sydney and Russell let us invade their space. But yeah, I just, I think at night I'm more anxious at night than like, I've been seeing, like feeling more anxious at night for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Maybe just because it's just, I'm missing the house at night. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, I'm definitely having my spurts of like, oh my God, I need, I want to go home. Yeah. Like, uh really bad but um obviously i know we can't go home mm -hmm. so uh but yeah i am i am really really thankful that we're here and uh we were able to keep all of our animals with us because otherwise this it wouldn't have been possible true we would have had to find something to do with at least our birds and that would have been really really hard so um i'm glad that we're here and we have time to when i feel anxious about wanting to go home i just try to remind myself that like Someday we'll really, really miss being our family being so accessible right. and being together all the time. So I just am trying to like cherish the moments that we have right now because it won't be so easy in the very near future. So that's what I try to do. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Hold on, I gotta fix the camera. It's like there we go. There we go. Okay. That's better. I just, I can't ever get the, the even side because the, the, the screen is so small. But when we go back on film, I'm just like, man, I need to set up better. But what else can I say? Um, just we're thankful that we have a house to go to. We didn't have to live in like a rental or something like that. We get to see family more than we have been. Mm -hmm. And we miss just having our home. And I miss our things. I miss our things a lot. The downtime has been really weird. I think that that's like where a yeah. lot of my anxiety is creeping in is we were just go, go, go all day long, every day for so long. And now we're just kind of like chilling, which has been really nice, but like, but they, I have to find things to keep my mind busy. It leaves so, your mind wandering. Yeah. And I don't like that. So I'm trying to like find stuff to do. Right. Because yeah, that's when I get in trouble is when I'm not moving and then I really start thinking and then I get really anxious and right. yeah. So. I think that's I think yeah I think you hit the nail on the head on that one I think that's yeah. what most of my anxiety comes from it's like we have just so much more time just mm -hmm. which we do need time to decompress and oh, just yeah. like that's why we just haven't really been filming we put just, the brakes on yeah we've been trying to like arrange our living space and accommodate for everyone and right. not make figure, my aunt and uncle feel like oh my gosh I'm taking over my house and just figure like, out how to live with it with each other and our, get our like bedroom situation under control and we'll show you guys our our little living space but we won't show the whole house yeah but we'll show our little living space that we have now which yeah. it works and i think that like um 
something that we'll be able to do over the course of being here is my aunt and uncle are volunteers for a bear. A bear. A bear. A bear. A bear. My aunt and uncle are volunteers <laughs> for a bird rescue. I was going to say parrot, and then I'm like, well, it's not just parrots. A bird rescue here in Ohio. And um, they have a lot of feathered friends here, so um, uh -huh. I think it'd be really cool and something different, just like a change of speed for you guys to like meet some of them and see like their mannerisms and different things that they do. So maybe we could show a couple today and um, just kind of make yeah. a little bit of a longer we'll vlog. And like they are really fun. So. I don't know if it's gonna be a longer vlog. It's more so. Well, more this is just... gonna be majority of us talking. Yeah. We just wanted to fill you guys in and check up with check in. I just with need you guys. more than like just like. Hi, okay, bye. Yeah. Like, just something else. We'll see what we can do. Oh, and then we have some footage that we're going to insert um, after I show a package that we got really quick of a little friend that we had come to visit the other night. So, that was really yeah. cool. But that'll be in here, too. But that's from the other night. Right. But, yeah. It's just, we just don't know what to film. It's just, yeah. I, I don't know. It's, I, we don't, didn't know what to film at our house, really, but we found stuff to film. Yeah. Here, it's just, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's not... It's know. not that we don't have the drive. Like we really right. want to record. Oh, and I really want to. Want I'm itching to. Be on to. Here. But we just don't know. Like we don't want to just record. Like, hey, yeah. like going through my day. I'm eating breakfast and <laughs> getting I made, ready. I made. I made. Scrambled eggs today. Yeah, and now I'm gonna <laughs> sit and play video games or do a puzzle. Yeah, we've been doing that a lot too. We've been playing a lot yeah. of games. So. Yeah. Okay, you wanna? I think that's that's all I have really to say. Right yeah. Now, that I can think of. But yeah. as the videos go on we'll probably share more with you guys and just what's not coming to our head now may come later mm -hmm. okay so i have a package from a shop that we've talked about quite a few times before this is from bb brook or shop bb brook.com i'll show you guys the card so here's the card and you can find her on instagram but um she custom makes minnie mouse and mickey mouse ears and um, my mom got this pair, but she wanted me to show you guys. And we we're going to share all the pairs that we have, but this is a pair that she picked. So here they are. How pretty are those? They're like purple, green, and like blue. Kind of remind me of a mermaid tail. Yeah, so they're super pretty. And on the inside... Like we've shown before. Yeah, they have Tammy in there. So um, I'll just put them on really quick so you can see like kind of the shape of them and the size if you're curious about ordering your own pair. So... Here they are. You have a personal. <laughs> <laughs> They're super cute. I love the shape of them. Oh, my ear's sticking out. I love the shape of them, and they're super, super comfortable. They're way more comfortable than, um, like, the ears you can get on ShopDisney.com or, or like the at parks. the parks or anything yeah. like that. They, I find that these don't um, kind of hurt this part right here on my ear. So uh, they do take a little while to come in, but they are very well worth the wait. So I've never worn ears for a prolonged period of time, so I want to know what you're talking about. Yeah, these are <laughs> super, super comfortable. We have a couple pairs of these now, but yeah. So I just wanted to show those really quick, a little bit of like Disney mail. But it it kind of reminds me of if Ursula was a mermaid. Oh, really? That's what it looks like to me, because like, the purple. Yeah. Uh, that And the purple and green are what's, what's pulling me, I think. We also made a Shop Disney order yesterday. No, Hot Topic. Oh, Hot Topic, which is Disney stuff. Yeah. I always get We just order from so many places. We made a Hot right? Topic order. Yeah. So that'll be a fun video coming up. But um, and I'm still waiting on my new lounge fly to come. It's a little bit delayed. So that will be coming too. We're going to have a lot of like haul videos coming up, I think. And that'll be fun. Yeah. So, yeah. Look forward to those in the future. Yeah. So hopefully we didn't bore you guys for too long. We just, again, wanted to check in, say how we're doing. We're all doing fine. We're all doing great. We're thankful, again, to be in this mm -hmm. house and have somewhere to go. Right. So thank you, Cindy and Russell, for lending us your house. For Lending us your house. <laughs> your <laughs> living space. Sacrificing your yeah. living space. Yeah. So we all could feel a little bit more comfortable than we would at, like, a rental or I don't know where else we would go. Yeah. We're going to end the, the check-in right now. And we're going to let him talk to him. Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, Cindy has some birds out, so we'll see if they can come out and come outside. I mean, come outside. They're already out, out in the living room. Yeah. Come outside, and you guys can see them up close and personal and see if they do anything funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're they're very unpredictable, and you never know what they're going to say. Yeah. So we'll see you guys when we get the, the cockatoos out. 
there is a raccoon. He came up and got some of, like, they have, like, a water fountain thing in their front yard that they made. And there's a raccoon. He's coming and getting in the water looking for food. Like, look, he's over by the porch on the corner, look. You guys see him? I don't know what he's doing. But that's a good will pile. It's not. There's no food or anything over there. That's just like a uh, trash bag full of blankets that need to go to Goodwill. So I don't know what he's chewing on. I'm gonna try to get closer. And see what happens. Oh, he's looking. What are you doing, buddy? He's eating something. I don't know what. I don't want to get too close because I don't want him to like, charge at me. But I don't know how fast he is. He's like. He's not intimidated at all by me, though. He's really cute, guys. He's bigger than Sunny. But he looks so fluffy and cuddly. Come here. Megan, come here, look. He's right. He's going away. He's right there. You see his tail? It's right there. He's behind all this goodwill stuff. He went away. Okay, guys. So, this is the first birdie. You guys met her before. This is a cockatoo. And she is an umbrella cockatoo, and she's going in the tree right now. She usually goes, like, all the way up there. I think she doesn't like me that much. That's why she's, like... And look and stand off and should not want to do anything. Just gonna chill there. Cockatoo. You're so pretty, cockatoo. You a pretty girl? You a pretty girl? Okay, we're gonna go over to this birdie now. And this is Candy. And Candy is a Malacan cockatoo. And look, she is kind of pink, guys. That's not just the camera. She is pink. Hi. <laughs> Where are you climbing to? Cockatoo. Cockatoo. Cock oh. Cockatoo. Cockatoo. You want to say it? Oh, you guys, I hope I caught that. She said cockatoo. Hi, Candy. What you doing, girl? You want me to pet you? Oh, that's a good girl. Mm. Yay! Where's Jane? What are you yaying about? And this is Simba. Uh, yeah. This is my buddy Simba, but I'm very scared of him. As you can tell, look how big his beak is. Oh, no, you, <laughs> you're, you you're funny. And he's a blue and gold macaw. Let's see, we do roar. Make sure you guys put no, not rough. I'm not rough. Okay. Because of them, you know, no, they're they're stepping up. He wants to step up we'll very up. bad. So we explained this part before in our check-in, but um, just in case you guys are just skipping forward to this part, these birds are all rescues. So um, that's why. Some of them are plucked, but Simba's a foster, so he's just staying temporarily. Yes. Yes. But he's cute. What are you doing? He he's really, really funny. likes Jake. He wants to step up on me, but I, I'm too scared, and I don't yeah. want him feeling that I'm scared. <laughs> he, he does sing the circle of life, too. What's up? I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see how pretty his face is. Here he gets. Roar. <laughs> Kiss. Simba just said, "Give me a kiss." Good job, buddy. Have the oh, he looks have so pretty yet. on the roar. camera. Roar! I don't like this. Why aren't you roaring? He knows how to roar. High five! High five! High five. Good job! Good job! <laughs> Shake! 
Jake? Did you see him? Ooh, bird yoga. Bird yoga. Bird yoga. Bird yoga. <laughs> you gonna laugh? Ha <laughs> ha. Here, let's drum coffee. Ready? <coughs> Good job, buddy. <coughs> Turn back this way, baby. Hi. <coughs> You look so pretty. Yeah, the, the cockatoos had to go inside because they were getting a little nervous. Yeah. Oh my oh, shake goodness. It. Shake it out. Here, let's see. One more time. Ready? Roar. He did it. He did it. See what I did. Ready? Roar. <laughs> good job, Five. That's a good job. You're such a pretty good boy. I want to take you home, but I can't take you home. <laughs> What? <laughs> you wanna go home with me? You wanna go home with me? <laughs> yeah, as you can see, probably from Megan zooming in on him right here, this is why I'm afraid of him. This thing oh, right here. Not that beak. That beak is huge. Look at it. Your beak is scary. Scary like a monster. Like rawr. I want to get a little bit closer for you guys, Five. so you can see. Um. I had never seen a macaw this close before until my aunt and uncle started fostering. Their faces are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let me see if he'll turn for me. Yeah, the black oh, stripes are actually hi. feathers, and yeah. actually the white on their their skin is oh, very small there we feathers. Go. Ah! Okay, all right, I'll back up. Yeah, he don't like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, you silly! <laughs> oh, you're so funny! You're so funny! <laughs> Five, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> He's trying to say it. <laughs> You're so silly. Turn. Turn around. He's trying to say turn. Say Jake. Jake. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And now he is getting a bath. Oh yeah, he likes that. Mm -hmm. That's about you. Good job, buddy. That's a good boy. Good boy, Shamba. Shamba gets a bath. He's done. <laughs> Russ, he's done. Good job, buddy. Good boy, shake it off. Shake it out. Good Woo! Let me go get him a tree. Good job. Okay, guys, and that's going to do it for our bird portion of this video. And make sure to, to keep in the loop because we have a lot more birds to show you guys. And they all have unique personalities. And they're just all very cool birds. And just to reiterate again, he this one is a foster. He came from a very bad situation. But as you can tell... He's still a sweetheart for all the stuff that he's went through. I'm very proud of him that he's as nice as he is. And just like Vanellope, he, as you see in the front, he plucks too. So it's more so of a nervous habit. Uh, that's all that, it's just more nervous habit, right? It's just more of a nervous habit and trauma related. So they're trying, they're trying to get better. And watch my finger. He does have his feathers growing back, so hopefully he can keep them. So that's going to do it for our bird portion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Okay, so that's going to do it for today's vlog. Um, I hope that all of you guys are doing well too. And uh, hopefully yeah. we'll be posting really, really soon. And we'll just try to be on here as much as we possibly can. And just kind of update you guys on what we know. And hopefully soon we'll be getting a closing date. And... Things will keep moving along, but um, and get down to Florida as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching. 
we appreciate all of you and thank you guys so much for the love on our last video yeah and um yeah so just thank you for being here for us and supporting us so that being said remember to reach out and find your happily ever after we will see you guys next time